Hello everyone, welcome to So Aldo. On today's tutorial, my daughter is going to show you how to easily make a dress for a build a bear teddy bear. So if you want to see how, keep on watching. We are going to use this t-shirt that we bought from Build a Bear as our pattern. So we are going to simply trace it like this. And then we are going to extend it to turn it into a dress. Then we are going to trace a line from the center fold all the way to the side seam. To create a separate pattern for the sleeve, I simply mark the shoulder seam and the underarm seam and then we are going to connect it. You should have two pieces of patterns, one for the sleeve and one for the actual dress pattern. And then we are going to label the pattern. Here we put cut on fold so we won't forget. And you will also need to put how many pieces you will need. Now it's time to cut out the fabric pieces. So we fold the fabric in half and place the pattern on fold just like so. And we are going to add a quarter of an inch allowance all the way around. Same goes for the sleeve pattern. Now we are going to join the shoulder seams. So first we are going to match it and then pin it. Make sure that the right sides of the fabrics are facing each other. By the way, this is what I love about my Juki sewing machine is it has a turtle mode or a slow mode. So this is perfect if you are trying to teach your children how to sew. Right after that, we are going to finish the sleeve hems just because this is super small so you want to finish it first before you attach it on the dress. We notch the center fold of the sleeve so it will be much easier to match it on the shoulder. I'm going to match the notch on the shoulder and then pin it to secure. And then carefully sew it from here all the way down. Remember to remove the pins as you go. Now it's time to join the side seams. By the way, we are only using straight stitch on this project just because teddy bears are soft so you can squeeze them into the dress. I am kind of guiding my daughter right here just because this is kind of tricky to sew but she actually did a really good job by herself. I'm just kind of guiding her a little bit and don't worry. The setting on this sewing machine is actually on turtle mode, so this was pretty, pretty slow. Now it's time to finish the hemline. So we just fold it once and then sew it all the way around. The same goes for the neckline. I'm just going to fold it once and then sew it all the way around. I ended up doing this just because this is super tricky and very small, so I ended up helping her. And the last step is give this dress a good press so it sits really nicely. 
Remember to subscribe. There is new video every Thursday at 9 o'clock in the morning central time. Click the notification so you will get notified whenever I post a new one. That's it you guys and I will see you next week. Bye!